Hey guys, so after Valentine's Day there are three types of people. The ones who have been single for a long time and kind of either didn't care or cared a lot on Valentine's Day. The second type of people are the people in relationships who are making out every five seconds on that day. Thank you. Anyway, the last and third type is the ones that became single on Valentine's Day. Anyway, I need to tell you how you will have to recuperate after Valentine's Day. You're single, and if you've been single for a long time, you might need to do these things. The first thing you need to do is write a letter to your neighbors apologizing for stealing their Wi-Fi. You need to watch your Netflix. And I'm not gonna lie, I need to apologize more than just my neighbors, Starbucks, McDonald's, and anywhere else with their free Wi-Fi. The second thing you need to do is get rid of anything that you ate and the remains of that. You have to go. The next thing you need to do, because I lost track of numbers, is get rid of any unsightly tissues you used while crying or getting rid of the mascara you left all over your tablet because you were crying. The next thing you need to do is apologize to any device that you may have used, like a phone, an iPod, a tablet, anything else, because you literally fused them all day. Because, you know, binge watching Supernatural is normal on these days. The next thing you need to do is apologize to any device that you may have used, like a phone, an iPod, a tablet, anything else, because you literally fuse them all day. Because, you know, binge watching Supernatural is normal on these days. The next thing you need to do, if you are a person of age, is get rid of anything you use to alter your reality. The next thing is for the people who have been in relationships and are still in a relationship. That sentence hurt me so much verbally. The first thing you need to do if you are in a relationship and you currently still are, is get rid of any wrapper that you were given or any little beautiful toys. Okay, it's the day after, get rid of it. You don't need it anymore. The next thing that you need to do if you're in a relationship and currently still are, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. What do you ask? Me, what do you people in relationships do? Do you like get away from each other the next day, or are you like still together? Like, how does it work? I, I, I don't know. My next thing is for people who were in a relationship, but then the other person decided, mm -mm, "Hunty, gonna fly solo," and they did it on Valentine's Day, which is a little bit of a bad move. By bad move, I mean like. Satan has a still life mic ready to go through you. The first thing you need to do if you were dumped or you broke up on that day, DIE! The next thing you need to do if you were in a relationship and now aren't, is burn anything that reminds you of that day. And when I say everything that reminds you of that day, I mean everything. I really hope you like that video. It was kind of weird to like, Film, considering I nearly burned down my house and I'm probably going to get cursed by that voodoo doll in the corner now. <laughs> One more thing before this video ends, and that is I have three video ideas and I'm not sure which one to let out first. And those are a cover video, well, a cover song of anything that I'm my arsenal of musical abilities. Um, the second thing is some sort of a challenge. And my third and final thing is a skit. And I have the idea for the skit. It has a written script, well, typed out script at the least. And I'm not sure which one to put out first. And that's kind of for you to choose and tell me what should I put out next. And this reminds me of burst and I need to stop doing that motion right now. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Anyway, see you in the next video and that you get to decide because I don't know. Bye bye. How did you spend your Valentine's Day? Cause like, not like I told you. I spent mine binge watching everything on Netflix, like I usually.